Good evening all. Audio video clear? Please mention whether the audio video is clear. So welcome all of you, welcome all of you to this lecture on LCM and HCF. We are discussing the number system unit and we are discussing all important topics of upcoming UPSC exam and this course is useful for other exams also like CSE or NET, GATE and other exams also. So please invite your friends, the link of this session is there in the uh, live chat, it is tagged in the live chat, share it with your friends so that others can also join and uh, audio is there an echo issue just a minute is it uh, better now Sabin can you please check uh, and confirm okay uh, and uh, uh, reminding all of you those of you want our paid courses or the flashcards for UPSC CSAT or other exams you can check it out in your in our mobile application Christie's classes and uh, also other resources you can find in our telegram channel whatsapp group mobile application and in our website christyworkers.in all the links are there in the description of this video and in this playlist you can find other videos for upsc there are there is a complete playlist itself that also you can check and other exam preparing students can check out other playlists in this channel and this is a schedule of this course today we are discussing lcm hcf those of you didn't attend the previous lectures that will be shared to you in the groups there you can attend it. It is not like if you don't attend previous class, you will not un understand today's class. Not like that. Because LCM and HCF is a topic that is uh, easy to understand and all the theory will be discussed in this class itself. The objective of this series, let me tell you, it is like a revision series for those people who are preparing for the upcoming UPSC exam. Like first 15 to, 15 to 20 minutes or 15 minutes we will be discussing the theory in the theory in 15 minutes and then the last 15 minutes we will be discussing the previous year questions also. So let's start. Um, yeah, for LCM and HCF, as you know, LCM is least common multiple and HCF is highest common factor. So you should know the factors of number. When you see a number, you should have an idea about the factors. For example, if I start with 16, 16, what all are the factors? 1 and 16 are factors because 1 into 16 is 16. What is factor? You can divide 16 by 1. You can divide 16 by 16 without any reminder. That kind of numbers are called factors. So 1 into 16 is 16. So 1 and 16 are factors. 2 and 8 are factors because 2 into 8 is 16. So 2 and 8 are also factors. 4 into 4 is 16. So 4 is also a factor. So the factors of 16 are uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. And factors you can understand or division itself you can understand in a logical way. If 16 mangoes are divided among one person, everyone will get whole number of mangoes no reminder or no remaining mangoes if 16 mangoes are divided among two people everyone will get eight mangoes each that means it is divisible by two or two is a factor or in other words 16 is a multiple of two least common multiple highest common factor so the word factor and multiple if you logically understand itself many uh, uh, is there a audio issue let me check uh, i will check anyway i will continue i will uh, if there is any uh, technical issue we will sort it tomorrow because as, uh, i think it is audible small crack in the sound is there i guess okay we will just continue when i show you a question at that time i will cross check what can be done to improve the audio okay anyways if 16 mangoes are divided among two people everyone will get eight mangoes each that means two is a factor of 16 and moreover 8 is a small okay uh, jarring issues there I'll just continue uh, I will check in between after showing a question okay so now how to find LCM so the basic idea of factor and multiple is enough to do LCM and HCF for many of the cases so what is LCM and HCF HCF yeah just clarifying GCD and HCF means the same greatest common divisor and highest common factor both means the same. Greatest and highest are the same. Divisor and factor are the same. So GCD and HCF is just synonyms itself. So it is a greatest number that divides each of the given number exactly. 
For example, if I take the numbers 15 and 36. So, which are the factors of 15? 1 into 15 is 15. So, 1 and 15 are factors of 15. 3 into 5 is 15. So, 3 and 5 are factors of 15. So, similarly, 36. 1 into 36 is factors because 1 into 36 is 36. So, 1 and 36 are factors. 2 and 18 are factors. 3 and 12 are factors. 4 and 9 are factors. Finally, 6 is also a factor. So, listing out all the factors, we need to find the common devices, common devices or common factors, highest common factor. So, which are the common factors? 1 is a common factor, 3 is a common factor. These are the only common factors. Now, highest or greatest common factor means 3 is the greatest common factor. So, one way is listing out all the factors and picking the common factors and finding the highest. But that is time consuming now. That is where the prime factorization process will help you to find the highest common factor or least common multiple. First, prime factorize the number. I am just telling you the basics. In case you have forgotten how to find LCM or HCF, or in case you have you want to practice on LCM and HCF, that is why I am showing you this example. So, 504 and 264, how to find the LCM and HCF using because for smaller number, trial and erroring may work. Even 1536, I can also think like, what all are the common factors when you think? Yeah, 3 is factor here also, 3 is factor here also. Above 3, this is 3 into 5. 5 is not a factor of 36. By trial and erroring like that also you can say, 3 is the highest common factor. But when it comes to bigger numbers, that is impossible. Trial and erroring for 504 and 264 is impossible. That is why prime factorization will be helpful. In school, you have done prime factorization. Na? 504, it is divisible by 2. In the last class, we discussed about test of divisibility also. 504 by 2 is 250, uh, 252. 252 by 2 is 126. Uh, Again, you can divide it by 2, so 63. Now, you cannot divide it by 2, so you can divide it by 3, 21. Again, divide it by 3, so it's 7. So, 7 if you divide 1. So, these are the prime factors. 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 7. So, that is 2, 3 times that is 2 cube. 3, 2 times 3 square. 7, 1 times 7 raised to 1. Similarly, 264 also can be prime factorized. Due to lack of time, I am skipping it uh, or I am uh, skipping that part. You can try it yourself. You will get this expression. Now, how to find LCM and HCF after prime factorizing both the numbers? For finding highest common factor, you just have to take the minimum of the powers and multiply them. 2 is a common factor in both now. So, 2 cube here, 2 cube here. So, minimum is also 2 cube. So, take 2 cube. 3 is a common factor in both. So, 3 square and 3, 3 raised to 1. The minimum is 3 raised to 1. So, take 3 raised to 1. 7 raised to 1. Here there is no 7 raised to uh, 7 raised to 1 or 2 or anything. So you don't have to consider 7 raised to 1 or 11 raised to 1. So considering all the common factors, you can multiply them. That will be the highest common factor or greatest common divisor. Is that clear all of you? Yeah, please respond. New students who have joined today also, leader year students also. Uh, hope this is clear. Uh, any doubts, please ask as it is a short session of half an hour. Your doubts will help to make the session better. So, in the case of highest common factor, we took the common factors only. 2, 2, 2, 2. Here, 2, 2, 2. So, we took both of it. Here, 3 is there. 3 is there. So, you took 2, 2, 2, 2. Sorry, 2, 2, 2 and 3. So, 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 will be 24. But in the case of least common multiple, you have to take the highest powers. This expression and this expression, if you check, 2 cube, 2 cube, so the highest power is also 2 cube. 3 raised to 2 and 3 raised to 1, the highest power is 3 raised to 2, so take 3 raised to 2. 7 raised to 1, you may say 7 raised to 1 or 2 or 3 or is, 3 etc. is not there, but 7 raised to 0 is 1. Na. So consider 7 raised to 0 here and 7 raised to 1 here. So, the highest common fact, highest power is 7 raised to 1. Similarly, 11 raised to 1 here, you can consider 11 raised to 0 is here because any number raised to 0 is 1. So, 
take it uh, so 11 raised to 1 taken so 11 raised to 1 so multiplying you will get the least common multiple okay uh, the voice crack issue okay i'll do one thing i will give you a question to try and uh, i will check how we can rectify this audio issue after that i will come back to the remaining theory so please try this question this was asked in 2021 csat and similar question was asked in gate exam and other csar and other exams also so all of you try this question by that time i will just check what is the audio issue that is facing Is the audio any better or is it the same itself? Please confirm. Is the audio any better or is it the same itself? Hello, is the voice crack issue resolved or is it still there? Am I audible properly? Please respond. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, any answers? Uh, okay, so then let's continue. Uh, tomorrow we will check uh, if uh, that can be, I think now it is uh, resolved, but we'll check if, there, if the audio can be better tomorrow also. Okay, so let's continue with this question. So I was discussing about how to find, uh, uh, how to find LCM and HCR. In this question, practically LCM and HCF is needed, right? Or LCM or HCF is needed. Which is needed, I will come back to that. Some of you already got an answer, I guess. So, so for bigger numbers, prime factorizing and finding the common factors, that will give you the highest common factor. And prime factorizing and finding the product of the highest powers will give you the least common multiple. Is this clear to all of you? But for smaller numbers, this is not needed. If you are good at numbers, when you look at the numbers itself, you will get an idea. For example, highest common factor of 12, 20, 36. When you look at this, these three are even numbers. Even numbers have a common factor 2 for sure. Now 2 is there. Let us see whether 2 2s are there or not. 2 into 2, 4 is there or not. Yes, 4 is there in all 3. 4 into 3 is 12. 4 into 5 is 20. 4 into 9 is 36. 4 into 3 itself says 20 does not have a 3 in it, 12 have a 3 in it, 20 have a 5 in it, 12 does not have a 5. So definitely 4 is the only common factor or highest common factor that we can directly find. By trial and erroring this you can easily find it but if you are not at all okay with trial and erroring you can prime factorize. If it is 3 numbers also you can prime factorize simultaneously. The common factor 2 if you divide you will get. Uh, 6, 10 and 18 and if you divide by 2 again you will get 3, 5 and 9. So now there is no more common factors. Now just multiply this after prime factor raising if you multiply this 2 into 2 that will be enough. That is how to find the common factors. Finding common factors and multiplying will give you the HCF. So likewise you can try these questions. When there are more numbers also, same way you can proceed. Now, let us practice LCM also. Okay. In the case of LCM, uh, what will be the 
answer 14 and 28 least common multiple multiples of 14 are 14 28 50, 28 um, 42 56 etc na? and 28 multiple are 28 56 etc common multiples 28 is a common multiple 56 is a common multiple least to common multiple means the least among them the least among them is clearly 28 so when it is smaller number you can write it down and find but when you practice more you can directly say that 14 and 28 14 double is 28 so definitely 28 will be the least common multiple because 28 is a multiple of 28 also 28 is a multiple of 14 also that is why the least to common multiple is 28. Here you don't have to prime factorize because when you see it itself, you can find it, find the answer. Na? What about 15 and 36? Here if you try to write it down, 15, 30, 45, it will take too much time. So prime factorization will be better. Because 15 is what? 3 into 5. 36 is what? 2 into 2. Uh, 36 is 6 square. 6 square means 6 is 2 into 3. So, it is 2 square into 3 square. 2 square into 3 square it is. So, the least common multiple to find it, you have to take this 3 raised to 1, 5 raised to 1. 3 raised to 2 is there. So, take 3 raised to 2. Then 5 is there. 2 square is there. So, 2 square into 3 square into 5 will be the least common multiple. That way you can find it. That is 4 into 9 into 5. 20 into 9, 180 will be the least common multiple. So that is how you can find the least common multiple. I hope it is clear. Now in UPSC in previous years, fractions LCM and HCF was also asked. That is why that also is important. Here also let us trial and error and find it and then we will go to the method or then we will go to the mathematical approach. By trial and erroring how you can find it. Make a try all of you. Okay, due to lack of time, I will start explaining. Least to common multiple of half and 3 by 4. Common multiples. Multiples of half means what? Half into 1, half into 2, half into 3, half into 4. These are multiples. Na? In the case of natural number, what we discuss, same thing itself. In case of natural number, how we did it? For example, uh, in this example, 14, 28, 56, 14 into 1, 14 into 2, 14 into 3, 14 into 4. Likewise, it is half into 1, half into 2, half into 3, half into 4, etc. Half into 1 is half, half into 2 is 1, half into 3 is 3 by 2, half into 4 is 4 by 2, that is 2, etc. These are the common multiples of half. What about 3 by 4? Multiples of 3 by 4 will be 3 by 4 into 1, 3 by 4 into 2 will be 3 by 4, 1 and half or 3 by 2. 3 by 4 into 2 is 1 and half or 3 by 2. So I will write 3 by 2. That is better to understand. 3 by 2, 3 by 4 into 3. That is 9 by 4, etc. Now in this, which is the common multiples? 3 by 2 is the common multiple. We need the least to common multiple. So 3 by 2 itself is the answer. All of you understood how it is 3 by 2 here. But as you can see, here it was okay because it is smaller number. When it comes to bigger number, it is not at all easy to write it down like this. That is why we want the mathematical equation, mathematical formula to do this. That is this formula. To find LCM, LCM of a fraction, numerator's LCM you find divided by denominator's HCM. I will explain. In this 1 by 2, 3 by 4, numerator's LCM. Numerator means the numbers on the top. 1 and 3's least common multiple will be 3, na? Denominators highest common factor. Common factor of 2 and 4 is 2. Highest common factor is 2. Na? So write it down. So 3 by 2 is the answer. All of you got the point. Please respond. To find LCM, numerators LCM but denominators HCM. And to find HCM, 
Numerators HCF but denominators LCF. HCF, HCF. What you want to find that should be done on the numerator. And the other thing should be done on the denominator. This way you can remember. So can you find 1 by 2, 3 by 4 HCF then? Please find it fast. 1 by 2 and 3 by 4 HCF or highest common factor. HCF and GCD is the same. Once again remind me. Uh, now the audios uh, uh, level also have increased now. I have uh, edited a setting. I think now audio is not low. So 1 by 2, 3 by 4, highest common factor. 1 and 3 is highest common factor. 1 and 3 is highest common factor is 1 itself. And 2 and 4 is least common multiple we need. 2 into 2 is 4, so 4 itself is the least common multiple. So 1 by 4 will be the highest common factor. Again, how it makes sense? What is the meaning of highest common factor? 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 is a factor of 1 by 2 also. 1 by 4 is a factor of 3 by 4 also. 1 by 4 into 2 is, uh, sorry, 1 by 4 is a factor of 1 by 2. Similarly, 1 by 4, if you make 2, 2 1 by 4s will make a 1 by 2. 3 1 by 4s will make a 3 by 4. That is why it is a common factor. Okay, so the audio issue, I will check what can be done. In the next class onwards, the audio issue will be resolved. Okay, so highest common factor and LCM of uh, fractions, I hope all of you are clear. Let us practice few more because this was asked in two UPSC exam. The fractions, LCM and HCF. So make a try all of you. It is a common factor. Okay, some of you already got an answer. Let's see. LCM of 2 by 7 and 3 by 5. To find LCM of a fraction, find LCM of the numerator. 2 and 3 is LCM is 6. Na? Least to common multiple. 2, 4, uh, sorry. Uh, one second, one second. LCM of 2 and 3 will be 6. Okay, uh, 6 will be the numerator, uh, LCM of the numerator and highest common factor of 7 and 5. There is no other common factors of 7 and 5 other than 1. Those kinds of numbers are called relatively prime numbers or co-prime numbers. No other common factor other than 1. So, the highest common factor is clearly 1. Because factors of 7 is 1 and 7 only. Na? It is a prime number. Factors of 5 are 1 and 5 only. Na? So, highest common factor is also 1 itself. So, 6 by 1 will be the least common multiple of these two fractions. What about the highest common factor of these two fractions, all of you? Please try. Highest common factor. Due to lack of time, I will start explaining. 2 and 3 is highest common factor you need to find. Numerator is highest common factor. Common factor, only common factor is 1. So, highest common factor is 1. Least to common multiple of 7 and 5. 7 and 5 are prime numbers. For prime numbers, LCM will be product of the prime numbers itself. 7 into 5, 35 itself. Or with whatever method you know, you can find LCM. I am just telling improvisations that if you are able to follow, that way you can do. Otherwise, whatever way you find LCM, you find LCM. So, 1 by 35 will be the highest common factor of this fraction. Now, this was a CSAT 2020 problem where this idea was needed. Make a try, all of you.
Because if you are watching this lecture, if you feel that this lecture is useful, do hit the like button. That will help this video to reach to more and more people according to the YouTube algorithm. And if possible, try to share it among your friends because this recording will be there in this channel. This is for all aspirants preparing for the upcoming exam. So share it with all of your friends. Share it with your with relevant Telegram or WhatsApp groups also if possible. So any answer? So I will explain uh, due to lack of time I will start explaining. Today's topic is little tricky topic to be covered in half an hour. Not because of the questions, because of the theory actually. Questions are can be done in lesser time only, but the theory to be explained that takes some time. So what is the greatest length x such that 3 and half and 8 3 by 4 meter are integral multiples of x? 3 and half. Again, when you see 3 and half, it is difficult to uh, process this 3 and half. It is better to write 3 and half as 7 by 2. This is called improper fraction. This understanding you will get if you have that, I told you the mango division idea. Na? If 7 people, 2 mango each, every, sorry, 7 people, 7 mangoes are divided among 2 people, everyone are getting 3 and half mangoes. Na? So when you get 3 and half in your mind, 6 half is 3. So 7 half is 3 and half. So 3 and half, it should strike in your mind that 3 and half is 7 as, same as 7 by 2. Similarly, 8 3 by 4. 8 3 by 4, if it is doubled, 16 and 1 and half. So 17 by 2, sorry. Um, yeah, that will be trickier. Yeah. You can first convert it 8 3 by 4, 3 and half will be 7 by 2, that is clear. You can multiply this 8 into 4, 32, 32 plus 3, 35 by 4. To convert a mixer fraction to improper fraction, these numbers you can multiply, add this number, that will be the numerator, 35. Denominator will be 4, so 35 by 4. And 35 by 4, if you think in your mind, 35 by 4 is 17 and half by 2. 17 and half by 2 is 8, 3 by 4. Whatever way, if you convert it into improper fraction, that is better to understand. Now, this can be done with the previous technique we discussed, LCM and HCF to how to find, we discuss now. But LCM or HCF, which is needed? Integral multiple of x, greatest length x such that. So, x is what we need. So, 3 and half and 8, 3 by 4 are factors of x. 3 and half and 8, 3 by 4 are factors of x. So, which number is like that? Which is factors of, is it 1 and half, is it 1 and 1 by 3, is it 1 and 1 by 4, is it 1 and 3 by 4? That is factor of 3 and half and 8, 3 by 4. Greatest factor, that means highest common factor, it is asna. Here also, 1 and half, this again, if you want, want to do, you can do it with options and see, see its multiples and check. Otherwise, if you are doing with direct mother, you have to find the highest common factor of 7 by 2 and 35 by 4. Because we need the greatest length, that is integral multiple of x. So, 7 by 2 and 3, 35 by 4, find the highest common factor, all of you. 7 and 35 is highest common factor. 7 and 35 is highest common factor is 7 itself. No? Because 7 is a factor of 7, that 7 is a factor of 35 also. 2 and 4 is least common multiple. 2 into 2 is 4. So, 4 is a multiple of 2 also. 4 is a multiple of 4 also. So, the least common multiple will be 4. So, 7 by 4 will be the answer. So, 7 by 4, again, that is improper fraction. 7 mangoes divided among 4 people. Imagine that. 4 mango divided among 4 people is 1 mango each. Now, the remaining 3 mango divided among 4 people, that is 3 by 4 mango. So, 1 mango and 3 by 4 mango, option D is the answer. All of you clear, please respond. 2020 previous year questions. Question where it was clearly asking to find the highest common factor of a fraction. So, please note down these two things or please practice these two things. Two exams this was asked, same concept was asked. And understanding the meaning of the question is the other part. All clear? Please respond. So, uh, 
I have already shown you a question which we haven't discussed. So now we will discuss this. So LCM and HCF is not something that is needed for doing questions from this. Uh, why not considering M? Uh, Safdar, so uh, which M? Let me just go back to the question. Integral multiple of X. M is just meter, uh, Safdar. So M is meter. Answer is also in meter. Na? So the meter will not matter at all. Question is only asking, um, answer is also in meter, question is also in meter. So no need to convert it into, um, uh, okay, what was the M, that was your confusion. Huh? I hope it is clear now. Yeah, just the unit is mentioned. Okay, any other doubts? All of your doubts are always welcome and those of you watching this recorded also, if you post your doubts in, your co in the comment section, whenever I get time, I will definitely try to help you out. This is like a, a project I am taking for uh, last minute revision of students and I want to help you out as much as I can through this lecture series. So all of you are welcome to post your doubts. Whenever I get time, I will definitely uh, answer you know, answer your doubts. So answer the first question. Yeah, yes, Sri, I am uh, coming to that. So as I told, this LCM HCF is an idea needed in many chapters, whether it is geometry, whether it is calendar, whether it is clock, whether it is number system, other chapters also. This LCM HCF, how to find is very needed. This is a calendar problem. But if you know LCM HCF only, you can do this question. I am not saying which among LCM and HCF because I want you to try. I hope all of you tried. That is why I will start explaining. There is no M with 3.5. Okay, that is just together mentions up there. That and denotes both are meter. Yeah, it could have been better if it was mentioned M here. I don't know whether it is a typing issue when I typed it or whether in question paper also it was missing. But if it is missing also, what they meant is, if, if it is missing also, it means that this meter is common for both. That is, this and clears that confusion. Nah? So that is why that is not an issue in my opinion. Okay, so uh, let us come back to this question. Joseph visits a club on every fifth day. So every fifth day means fifth day, tenth day, fifteenth day, twentieth day. When we read this question like this, you will get better idea of LCM or HCF also. Common multiples of five. Joseph is visiting the club. What about Harsh? Harsh is visiting on every 24th day means 24th, 48th, 72nd, uh, 96th, etc. day. Uh, Harsh is visiting. What about Sumit? On every 9th day, so 9, 18, 27, 36, etc. Uh, Sumit is visiting the club. If all the three met at the club on a Sunday, the Sunday part we will come back to. So when they will meet again? They will meet again on common multiples. Now, this is why I told you, always get into the logic. Don't just by heart the method only. That is why I just practically showed you the um, idea of multiples also. On multiples only, they will meet again. Na? Common multiples, they will meet again. And we need again, immediate next time. Immediate next time means least common multiple we need. Least to common multiple of 5, 24 and 9, we need to find. 5, 24 and 9, if you are good at LCM, you can clearly see that 5 and 9 no, don't have any other common factors. So 5 into 9, you need to multiply. And 24 also have a common factor with 9. So that 3 can be included here. Already 24, 1, 3 is, uh, 24, 3 is included here. Remaining 8 only is there. So 9 into 8 into 5, 360. But if you are not at all okay with that method, you can do the prime factorization idea itself. 5, 24, 9, prime factorizing. There is no other common factor. So, um, sorry, there is a common factor here. 24 and 9, that common factor you can take up. 3 is a common factor. So that is 8 uh, and uh, 3. Yeah, that way you can proceed and you will get the same 360. Anyway, 360 will be the least common multiple, whichever method you use. That means on 360th day, they will meet again. On 360th day, they will meet again. If the question was asking which day, 360th day, but which day of week it is, that is asked. That is where calendar concept is also needed. In the series, we will be discussing calendar. At that time, I will discuss that in detail. But when you, in calendar problem, the idea is you have to divide by 7 and take the reminder. That is called odd days. 
360 days means you have to consider only the odd days connected to it. Do it connected to it. 350 is divisible by 7. So 350 is divisible by 7. So 357 is divisible by 7. So 360 is 3 more than a multiple of 7. There also, I, as I always tell, try to practically understand. 360 mangoes divided among 7 people. 70 mangoes divided among 7 people, no reminder. Na? 140 mangoes divided among 7 people, no reminder. Because 70, 70, 70 added, no reminder. In the last class also, we discussed that. When you add up that also, when you add up, uh, like, if x is a multiple of m, y is a multiple of m, x plus y is also a multiple of m. So, 140, 210, 280, 350, all are multiples of 7. So, 350 mango can be divided among 7 people. 357 mango also can be divided among 7 people without any remaining. But 360, there will be 3 remaining. 3 remaining means from Sunday, you need to add 3 days more. Third day from Sunday, that is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday will be the answer. So, all of you are understanding. Yes, of the same prime factorization, the common factors only will differ. I mean, uh, common factors only is needed for highest common factor. But the highest power of the common factors we need in the uh, least common multiple. Lijoi, what I did is, I just trial and error to find the uh, uh, LCM. 524, 9. Here I got that 24 and 9 have a common factor of 3. So I have to take 3 one time only. Uh, 3 one time here. Here 3 square is there. Here 3 raised to 1 is there. So 3 square I need to take. This 3 I don't have to consider. Na? That is why I took 8 from here. That, But here I, would, I, I need to take 9 itself. And here I need to take 5. So I just multiplied 5, 9 and 8. That is how I did. Is it clear, Lejoy? I was not prime factorizing and finding it. I was trial and erroring like this because finally after prime factorizing, we are writing the highest power of 3. Na? Highest power of 3 means 1 power of 3 will be deleted from the least common multiple. So that is why 3 raised to 1 is deleted from 24. Remaining is 8 only. So that 8 is taken from 24. 5 is taken from 5 and 9 is taken from 9. So 9 into 8 into 5 will be 360. 360 by 7 means how we get particular day. Yes, Shanti, that concept we will discuss in calendar problem. In calendar chapter, I will discuss about odd days. When you get number of days, divide it by 7 and take the reminder that many days because multiple of 7 will not change, change the day of the week. That is the reason. 7th day, 14th day, all are the same day itself. No? That is why that will not change. Now, homework questions for all of you. This question is a homework question. Exactly, Safdar. Uh, uh, that uh, by reading the question only you will understand it. Uh, in this question, it is fifth day, tenth day, fifteenth day, twentieth day. All these days they will be meeting, na? Or Joseph will be meeting or coming to the club. Harsh will be coming on twenty-fourth, forty-eighth. So you understood that on multiples, least common multiple. That way I understood it is multiple. So. Yes, Rakhi, you can do that. You can do that. So, this is a homework question. Try this. Same idea itself. This is another question. Again, same idea itself. So, this LCM idea is very important in many chapters. So, what I discussed today, hope all of you are clear. Please respond. Is this completely clear or any doubts are there? Please mention it in the comment section. And those of you are attending this course for the first time, like to hear from you whether you felt this session was useful. Uh, and uh, new students, uh, if you want to be part of our Telegram channel for UPSC, in the description of the video, you can find the link for joining our Telegram channel and our other resources you can find here. And the flashcards I am showing in the class, all those flashcards are now currently available as an ebook itself. UPSC sees at 100 flashcards. For other exams also, CSTR net 100 flashcards also are available in my mobile application, Christie's Classes. Uh, for downloading the mobile application, you can either scan this QR code or just uh, 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 search in Play Store, you can find it. 
yeah uh, some of you suggested homework questions to be added in the group also from tomorrow onwards homework questions will be added in the group so you can check it out in the telegram group of ours of upsc csat in the description of the video you can find the telegram not group it is a channel in telegram channel i will update that uh, homework questions and other materials and update of the classes also can you show an example of lcm and cf for same numbers in factorization mother same numbers means can you give me an example sub there i will explain that uh, sure arjun i will provide more questions in the group yeah uh, lira students you can post your doubts in in our uh, uh, common group also you can post or in my channel uh, uh, yeah in my it is a channel only now group i have in started in my um, uh, uh, in uh, in telegram uh, but channel you will get updates of the upcoming class so can we know it is at same with safe anamika that according to situation you have to analyze there is no other way because as i told in this question when we okay one second uh, lira students you have class at 9 15 i guess so uh, the uh, today's topic is over tomorrow 9 30 pm we'll be discussing reminder theorem so the link is there in this uh, 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 channel itself you can enroll for it and uh, to all of you once again telling if you don't want to miss any update from this channel do hit the bell icon after subscribing the channel so that you will get update whenever i go live whenever uh, any material or any updates in community tab also you will get updates if you are following this channel so i welcome all of you to be part of this community uh, Okay, now I will clarify the doubts. Uh, the top uh, lecture is over. Those of you want to leave for the next session, uh, especially Lira students, uh, you can leave for the next session if you have the session now. So, as I told, how to understand LCM HCF by reading the question and understanding the question only, it is possible. Greatest length x such that 3 and half and 8 3 by 4 are integral multiples of x. So, the answers multiple should be 3 and half and 8 3 by 4. That means x should be a factor of 3 and half, x should be a factor of 8, 3 by 4. So that should be common multiple, na? Co sorry, common factor. So answer should be the highest common factor that we understood from reading the question. In this question, Joseph was visiting on 5, 10, 25, 15, 20, etc. That means on multiples of 5. Harsh was visiting on 24's multiple. Sumit was visiting on every multiple of 9. So, multiple is needed. So, that is the keyword. That is why in this question it was HCF and in this question it was LCM. So, by practicing you will get the hold of it. So, practice more question. I will update more questions in the channel very soon. So, uh, yeah, so let's conclude for today, I guess, other uh, doubts you can post in the comment section, we'll try to answer all your doubts. Uh, sure, Arjun, I will try to do that. Uh, sure, LCM and CFO, same numbers. Uh, 318.24. Okay, sure, Safdar. 318.24, if you want to find. 318.24. If, if you are using prime factorization, first prime factorize. Common factor, 3 is the common factor, so write 3, so 1, then this is 6, then this is uh, 8. Yeah, 2 is also there for 6 and 8, so you can take 2 here. So 2, 6 and 8, if you take, this 1 will be 1 itself, you don't have to consider that anymore. 6 and 8, it will be 3, and this will be 4. So no more common factor. So, uh, yeah, uh, one second, one second. Here you can stop it actually because uh, this one you cannot take common factor anymore. So 168, now you don't have any common factor of three numbers together. So the highest common factor will be three here. And to find the least common multiple after prime factorization, what you should do is take this three, take this one, take this six, take this eight, multiply all that. Three into one into six into eight will be the LCM. Otherwise, in the trial and error mother, what you can do is you can think that uh, common factor, 3 is a factor, 3 is a factor, 3 is a factor for all these 3 numbers. And that is common to all these 3 now. There is no other number more than 3. So the highest common factor is 3 you can directly say. Least to common multiple, the multiples here if you prime factorize, this is 3 raised to 1. This is uh, 3 square into 2. This is 
2 into 2, 4 uh, into 2, 8, that is 2 cube into uh, 3. So, highest common factor is clearly 3, na? because 3 is common in all the 3. The lowest power of that or the common factor is 3 itself. And the common multiple, 3, 3 square, 3 raised to 1, take 3 only, 3 square only. Highest for finding LCM, the biggest power you need to take. 2, 2 cube and 2 raised to 0. So, 2 cube you need to take. Multiply these two. That way you can get the answer. That is 9 into uh, 8, 72 it will be. 9 into 8, 72 it will be. I hope all of you understood this. Yeah, the prime factorization itself, those people who have doubt, I will suggest you go with prime factorization itself. That will be the easiest if you have confusion in these things. 3 raised to 1. Write this as 3 square into 2. Write this as 3 square, uh, sorry, 3 into 2 cube. For highest common factor, 3, 3 square, 3. So, 3 only will be the highest common factor. For LCM, you have to take 3, 3, 3 square and 3 raised to 1 means 3 square you have to take and 2, 2 cube, 2 raised to 0 is there. So, 2 cube you have to take. 3 square 9 into 2 cube 8, 9 into 8, 72 will be the least common multiple. That way you can do it. So, LCM will be 72 and HCA will be 3. So, I think let's conclude for today. Meet you all tomorrow with the next lecture, Reminder Theorem. And uh, uh, check the description of the video for uh, all updates or other resources we provide. And the previous four videos also you can find in this playlist so this is the complete schedule of this course monday to friday 8 30 pm yeah today onwards the timing is 8 30 pm to 9 pm so that's it thank you all of you have a good night see you all on the next class do let others know about the series invite all of your friends to be part of the series thank you take care bye bye have a good night